Welcome to Tech Career Development. In Tech Career Development, we discuss web design, web development, and computer programming. In computer programming, uh, we discuss Java programming, Python programming, Ruby programming, and some other programming languages. And today, I'm going to discuss about Java programming. Java Bootcamp is going on. Today is day 5 and we are going to learn how to create methods. Let's open uh, an Eclipse IDE and we are working with methods. Let's create a class and let's take a class name car okay car is already exists so we cannot take car let's take um, animal okay all right and i am checking in public static void main and main method is the entry point of any programming language no exception to java programming language too okay so when i check in and just click on finish button we can see main method is automatically by default come with the class animal we created animal class okay uh, and to create animal class we had to use class uh, keyword so we have another keyword here public public means anyone can access this animal class from another class from another package or even from uh, different packages okay different classes um and inside the animal class we have main method this animal class scope starts here and ends here with the opening and closing curly braces and inside the animal class we have main method and this main method has method scope starts with calibrases and ends with another calibrases and this is comments single line comment we can keep note what is method method methods are block of codes or programs that are that executes that executes or runs block of codes plural so that execute uh, or run when they are called by name meaning to execute or run any method you have to call by name you have to call by name until or unless you call them by name no method will run or execute okay and methods are created to perform special actions okay in method methods can take parameters okay as arguments so these three things 
before we start even creating any method we have to um, understand okay we have to clear that concept now method in class we don't just have methods we can have also properties attributes fields okay in any programming language any class or object can have two characters and these are states and behavior as i mentioned earlier states and behaviors okay what are the states states are properties variables it can be attributes or fields okay attributes are called also fields so we have to be very very conscious about it attributes and fields are not different these are properties and behaviors behaviors are nothing but methods okay so now let's create a method void void doesn't return any type okay uh, it doesn't return any value and void is a keyword all right and animal can take action say for example take action okay any animal can take action just i type c so and press control space bar and i just say this is non-static methods method okay non-static method then definitely we do have static method so i just type static and animal can sleep okay sleep method all right and static void sleep and inside the method we can say animal can sleep it's static method now method can be uh, two types one is built-in method that comes by default with java and another one is user defined method these are user defined method we defined it we created it and this main method is built-in method it comes with java okay in system.out print ln this print ln is built-in method or inbuilt method okay and user defined methods or method can be two types one is non-static that doesn't have static keyword and another one is static that has static keyword in front void keyword okay so now what are the difference the static method directly belongs to class so to access this static method we don't need to create any object we know the purpose of creating object is to access the properties and methods of a class so this static void sleep is a method 
of animal class inside the animal we created it and since it is static method it belongs to class so we don't need to uh, create object to call it we can call it directly sleep method and we know uh, methods are block of code that only executes or runs only when called by name so i'm calling this sleep method by name and let's execute and we see it has been executed animal can sleep its static method animal can sleep its static method okay now let's try to execute call take action that is non-static method let's call by name okay and we see it's not accessible cannot make a static reference to the non-static method okay because this is non-static method and we cannot execute it if we try to execute by force it will say exception in thread main java dot language dot error cannot make a static reference to the non-static method take action take action is non-static method we are uh, aware about it okay so to access it what do we have to do we have to create object how we create object uh, we know class is just a blueprint or design or formats or template from where we can create object to access the properties and methods of a class so this is class then we need a variable mm, i can say animal one okay and to create object we need to type new keyword and then name of the class parenthesis then semicolon whenever i type uh, animal class then a reference variable equal to new keyword and class name parenthesis and semicolon a new object has been created warning many youtuber many uh, tutors mentors instructors mention on youtube this is an object we are creating object okay uh i say technically and conceptually this is wrong I cannot blame anyone but this is not not an object remember when we use new keyword then type class then parenthesis and semicolon only then a new object is created actually when we execute it this object takes a place into the memory as an object and this animal is referring to this new object pointing to this new object so to access any properties or method now we can use the reference variable animal then just use dot operator okay animal one and now the red mark is gone and now we can access take action and 
we can execute now all right wonderful same way when we just say string name equal to hima and integer age equal to 23 can we access uh, name property directly we cannot because this name is also non-static to directly access we have to make it static okay now we can access name the red mark gone okay all right unbelievable right now uh, let's try to access directly h you see you cannot because the h variable is non-static when you say static now you can access you see now you can access directly without using the reference variable to the object now uh, without static you cannot access directly but you can access it creating an object okay now we can use the reference variable to the object and just say dot operator then name and same way you can also access it all right now methods can take parameters actually methods can take parameters and we will learn it in the next video tutorial remember what i am teaching here in java bootcamp if you want to learn java programming in a school in a bootcamp you have to spend 10k to 20k minimum 5k in north america boot camps are really expensive and none can guarantee you can learn it but if you follow my boot camp it's a free boot camp and practice every single day at least two three times I can guarantee you will become a master in object-oriented programming okay so watch the video tutorials practice every single day just for 30 minutes or an hour and you will become master in just three months and you know a Java developer Java programmer are making 85k to 150k some are senior java programmers are making 250k and you can master in any programming language in just three to one year some people can do it in three months some people can even do it in just one month okay just after completing um, java object oriented programming you can get internship or intern job as an intern software engineer just after completing object oriented programming in little um, html css and very basic sql so follow this youtube channel and avoid paying 10 to 30k for your bootcamp Thank you so much. If you are in this YouTube channel for the first time, don't forget to subscribe this YouTube channel so that whenever I upload a beautiful new video, 
you can get at least a notification all right so thank you once again beautiful people i really love coding programming learning new technologies meeting new people and sharing my tech knowledges experiences so see you in the next video tutorial don't forget to subscribe if you have any question please 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 feel free to ask questions below this video in the comment section i'll primary level best to answer them within 72 hours within three days okay and definitely i do uh, teach one-on-one -on -one basis and in the group and batches if anyone interested feel free to shoot an email this is be a boss at the rate boss developers dot org this is gmail okay that's all for today thank you so much i hope you can learn it in just couple of months and got a role in the software development and testing industry okay and we can help if you really want to be in the tech industry we can really help you within one two three months we can prepare you and place you in a junior role or intern software engineer okay or even if you want to become a qa engineer quality assurance engineer or software development engineer in tests we call it asset that is very possible after learning java you can develop a skill on test automation and test automation engineers make 110k to 200k 250k in their first job they can learn 100 plus so you can learn java programming in just object oriented programming you can learn in just one month and it'll take to master on selenium or web automation just two weeks if you understand object oriented programming so don't waste your time take action be your own boss okay thank you so much